we're going to tear down the upper section of this Tascam 488 Mark II. And a lot of these tear down videos I've been filming myself undoing screws and speeding the footage up. But I figure I can probably assume that my viewers know how to use a screwdriver. So to save myself time editing and filming, I've started to just mark on the boards with arrows where the screws are so I'll talk you through those instead. Starting with this board over here that's got all the shuttle controls in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws going around in the L shape here and then one, two, three, four, five, six screws in this upper part. If we lift them out, then we can see that all of those are going into plastic mounting posts, meaning that you're going to be using a wider ferrule wood type screw. That gives you access to any shuttle buttons you might want to clean with contact cleaner. Um, if you needed to, to reflow the solder on these or replace LEDs, then you could do that. Sometimes buttons like this will come away quite easily for cleaning. I found on this one, these buttons are stuck, but all these ones come out. There's just like a little bit of adhesive in these pins keeping these ones in so if you desperately needed to get that out to clean you could probably gently force it by getting a flat head screwdriver under there but be careful. The next thing you'd want to remove are these little daughter boards for the insert effect and headphone outs. So there's going to be one screw there and then they're connected to this mixer board by a plug each the wires are strong enough you can just pull those out by hand like so. One of the more unique features about how this is attached is that there's some plastic pins. I think probably the only time that I've covered them before, maybe the back panel of a Tascam 244. If you can't get under it with your fingernail, then you can use a flathead screwdriver. And then that little pin is sat into this thing. Basically, there's four little, what we call, leaves there. So I would have to pinch that quite tightly for that to fit back in the hole. And then what happens is when you put the pen in, it causes those leaves to splay. So they're on the far side of the PCB and so it can't come in and out. It's just a way to attach like this shielding to a PCB where there's no plastic mounting post to fit that into. So there's a couple of them. There's one there, there's one there. You can see I've noted them. Here we have a screw that's keeping this bit of shielding in contact with this bit of shielding and going through the shield contacts on this PCB and into this mounting post. That's just a normal screw, that's a normal screw. I've put CT to remind myself that there would be a cable tie. I think that's just to keep that in position so that's in the right place when you reassemble. That then lifts away. Uh, there are no less than 18 screws keeping this board in place. Um, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And where's number 18? Um, and this board's attached here by these three plugs. You can just pull those out. Then we've got this board here that's running perpendicular. Probably the easiest way to get this mounting plate with these socket daughter boards separate from this mixer board and from this joint board here is to take the whole thing out. So we would need to remove an additional one, two, three, four screws from this plate. Again, they're going into plastic mounting posts. So all these screws that I've discussed are gonna be of the same type. Once you've done that, all of that would lift up. And in terms of getting this separate, get a flathead screwdriver and just wedge it in between. And these will come away. Same idea here. Just make sure that when you do that, that you're putting the screwdriver in quite close to the joint. If you do it too far away, you're going to be putting more stress on the PCB and it's more likely to crack. Should you need to solder or trace anything on these socket boards, then the way that these are detached, there are screws and there are these clips. The screws are self-explanatory. The clips, what happens is you pull them off like that. And when you're putting them back on, you make sure that the sockets are flush and then you just slide them on like that. Um, at that point you would have access to the mixer board and um, you could 
solder anything that you needed to solder. Um, you'd be able to get contact cleaner, compressed air, and suitable mixer, fader lube. I used Deoxit products in there to give this a deep clean if you needed to. In the next video, I'll be taking apart the lower section of the 488 Mark II. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.